Hello everyone and welcome to the latest round of immigration updates from Canada. My name is Srijana and I am the registered Canadian immigration consultant for AJV Global based out of Toronto in Canada. Uh, I'm going to provide an update on uh, the second half of May and everything that transpired in the area of uh, Canadian immigration uh, and hopefully you will find this insightful. The 20th of May was uh, a particularly interesting day uh, as far as Canadian immigration matters are concerned because on the 20th of May there was a very unusual out of the blue CEC draw uh, here in Canada. So on the 20th of May as part of that draw the government invited 1,842 applicants. It is a fairly huge number. Um, 2021 has seen uh, very very large draws. Uh, sometimes upwards of 5,000 and 6,000, but um, you know, even compared to all of those draws, uh, this was a particularly big one. So the government invited 1,842 CEC candidates, and the least CRS score was only 397. So this is a significant lowering uh, of CRS scores, um, you know, which largely used to hover above the 400 mark, but this is only 397. Now this was. Um, one of the more unusual draws uh, and we know of um, you know this particularly large draw that happened on the 13th of february uh, where upwards of 27,000 uh, applicants were invited and that was another cec draw as well so after that uh, this was another big cec draw that happened on the 20th of may so if you've been following me you know already that the government in canada has been facilitating long-term stay uh, for people who are already here in canada so um, temporary residence to permanent residence has become extremely easy uh, and so the government is continuing uh, with the trend that it started earlier in the year. So it's, it's likely to continue uh, in that uh, every draw ha has only ever been CEC or PNP. Having said that, uh, the next point is of course uh, the last draw that happened in May which was the 26th of May uh, and as expected after the PNP draw we had after the CEC draw we have a PNP draw so uh, this PNP draw happened on the 26th of May uh, 713 was the least CRS score uh, if you know anything about Canadian immigration already you will know that a PNP nomination or a PNP letter will give you 600 extra points so therefore PNP draws have a significantly higher uh, draw score compared to other forms of express entry draws. So this particular PNP draw had a score of 713 uh, and without the PNP nomination the CRS score needed to be um, uh, at least 113. Uh, as part of this draw 500 applicants uh, were given invitations to apply and they could then uh, subsequently apply for uh, permanent residence. So those were the two big draws uh, of the latter half of May. Uh, 20th of May saw a very unusual CEC draw and the 26th of May saw uh, a PNP draw. Uh, this trend is likely to continue. Uh, if you're going to ask me again, uh, when is it likely for an all program draw to happen, which hasn't happened uh, since December of 2020, uh, we're all hoping and praying that it does. And the latter half of the year uh, will hopefully open doors to applicants from around the world who are waiting very, very anxiously for the all program draw. Uh, in terms of um, you know, coronavirus related updates, uh, I know a lot of you and, and a large uh, chunk of the audience watching me is also anxiously awaiting uh, entry into Canada. So if you guys already have approved uh, confirmation of permanent residences or if you have the approved COPRs um, and if you have been following me again, you will know that if you, have, if you do have an approved COPR after the 18th of March, um, you are unable to travel to Canada, which means Canada hasn't opened doors uh, even to people who have approved permanent uh, COPRs. Uh, so therefore, um, now that the vaccination program or the rate of vaccination in Canada uh, is going on uh, in, a, in a fairly accelerated manner, and about 50% of um, you know, all people here have received at least the first dose, uh, very, very slowly we are hoping uh, that people with COPRs will be able to come in soon enough. But for now, um, even those who do have the document uh, will not be able to travel to Canada. Uh, in terms of the flight ban, 
uh, from uh, India and Pakistan. Uh, there was a one-month flight ban that was initiated on the 22nd of uh, April. Uh, but that flight ban, unfortunately, has now been extended and it's been extended up to June 21st. So no matter what document you have with you, you will be unable to come to Canada because there is a complete uh, ban in incoming flights from India and Pakistan. And this is, uh, it has been extended until June 21 and the situation will be reviewed uh, as we come closer uh, to that particular date. Uh, with regard to numbers so far in 2021, uh, there have been 68,317 uh, invitations uh, given out as part of the Express Entry Program. Uh, we are moving at a faster and at a much more accelerated pace as compared to last year. Uh, but this is also because the government this year has been doing larger draws. Uh, many of the CEC draws have seen applicants um, you know, invited in upwards of 6,000 and so uh, these are very, very large number of applicants that are being invited every, um, you know, in, as part of every bi-weekly draw. Uh, and therefore, in 2021 so far, um, which is, you know, not even the first six months, uh, we've already invited 68,307 uh, applicants to apply for permanent residence uh, by way of express entry invitations. Uh, so that is, a, that is a significant number. Uh, we also know that the six uh, programs uh, that were announced in May uh, for um, essential workers as well as for international graduates, uh, and that was for the 90,000 additional uh, permanent resident um, applicants that Canada wanted to invi invite, that process is still underway. Uh, those applications were uh, accepted earlier this month and they're all in the works and they're being processed. So that's going to allow for 90,000 additional permanent residents in addition to the 401,000, which is already the quota for 2021. So um, there are a lot of programs that are underway. Uh, unfortunately for um, you know, uh, the, the global audience that this might reach, uh, it has become significantly harder if you are outside of the contours of Canada watching this to come in, uh, because Canada is cur currently facilitating uh, long-term stay for people who are already here. Uh, but of course, um, you know, you are, you know, more than uh, welcome even with AGB Global to look at PNP programs and determine eligibility for the various provinces that are here because in addition to the CEC draws, PNPs uh, are uh, extremely popular. The provinces have become more and more active uh, in nominating uh, applicants. So if you do want to reach out to us um, for any of these programs or if you even want to consider uh, the study to decide pathway to Canada, which has now become a particularly lucrative one, uh, given how easy it has become for students to stay on in Canada as permanent residents, you are um, you know, more than welcome to reach out to us uh, and then we can have a look at creating a customized pathway uh, for you all to Canada. So this was the update for the second half of May uh, and I hope you guys continue to join me uh, as I navigate um, the many information systems and, and the many announcements uh, that come through uh, over here ever, ever so often and I hope I give that information to you in bite-sized nuggets. So thank you for joining me and uh, I hope to touch base with all of you guys soon. Thank you and stay safe.